I never learned how to live, never had to learn how to work clean and sober before. All right, these, these people in Oxford House has, have taught me how to do that, have given me a chance when I make a mistake, you know, they'll help me out. When I need help, they'll help me out. You know, when I'm hurting, they'll help me out. I don't have to go out and do this stuff on my own. There's usually somebody in the house at all times that you can talk to who have been through this before, who have, you know, who have, who've been around longer. We have house meetings once a week where a lot of this stuff gets kicked up and dealing with our attitudes, with dealing with, uh, you know, certain house issues. And we, and we learn how to deal with this, you know. So, and it's, sometimes it's a... It's a painful experience, but it, it you know, it works. <laughs> <laughs> most, most people that end up in an auction house have hit some type of bottom in life, whether it be a physical or spiritual or an emotional bottom, they've hit some type of a bottom. All of us that live in Oxford houses or that do well are people that have accepted the fact that we have a disease. We suffer from a disease, the disease of alcoholism and addiction. What Oxford houses do, you know, after a person has accepted that and they come in, they're looking for uh, a better way of living. The Oxford house concept is added support. Uh, coming out of a, a treatment facility, a lot of people may end up in a halfway house for a period of time and uh, maybe uh, they get a job because in an Oxford house, one thing that we have all lost <coughs> is that self-sufficiency. And Oxford house helps us to regain that. I'm talking about working uh, a, a job, uh, being able to pay bills because the uh, Oxford houses are autonomous. Each one uh, runs independently. The members run the house. We pay the bills. Each person has the rent to pay. And with the money that we, we collect, we pay all of the utilities. Um, and it gives us that added time to uh, prepare ourselves for, like Paul, Paul was saying earlier, that some people feel comfortable. They can come in there three or four months, five months, and they may move out on their own. Other people have been around for a year, two years, and uh, there's no time limit. Each individual, you know, that is something that they find as, as, they, as they grow. And the Oxford allows you, without having so many different rules or restrictions, to kind of like take life on a bit at a time, you know. And then once, of course, you get to the, the point where you feel a lot more confident or, or, or able, to deal with society as a whole on your own because the loneliness plays a big factor too and uh, that's why the community setting or the family type uh, living is uh, so conducive coming into the oxford house it allowed me to 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 take a look at the fact that there are people who are out here who are living um in a structure where they can pay bills you know i mean I, that's the one thing that i always did not want to do is pay bills be responsible and they've taught me that it can be done. Not only that, but it was like, this thing kind of works hand in hand. I have to, I'm the type of person that has to see somebody else actually doing it in order for me to feel like I can do it. Nobody can understand the feelings that you have as well as another alcoholic and relate to you in, in, in a way that you can understand and can learn from someone who's gone through it. All the, the well-schooled doctors in the world uh, still haven't been able to come up with a treatment that is better than one alcoholic helping another alcoholic. I don't think that I could have stayed sober if it um, wasn't for the Oxford House. There's not a doubt in my mind because <clears throat> I was like you too. It was suggested to me to go in, you know, the first time. And um, I moved back home and, um, you know, went right back out after a four-month program. And it was a long-term program. And I came right back out and used again. And um, <clears throat> when they told me to you know, move in again, um, I really didn't have a choice. I, I did it for someone else because I was afraid of losing them. And um, I moved in and I never thought that, um, you know, six other women, how can you do it, you know? Um, you know, there was no way that I thought I could, could do that. And, um, you know, two and, a half year, two and a half years later, I'm still there, you know? Something's right because um, it's, it's the way the houses are run, you know, we have to do a lot of changing, and um, it's not easy. And, um, you know, when you live with somebody that gets to know what you're about, you know, I could come in the house and not say anything, and those girls know me. They know what's going on. And in the beginning, that was real important for me because it was hard to reach out. It was hard to share. 
I didn't I didn't get right involved with this step you know the 12 step program um, I, I had a lot of fear I was I wanted to run again and these people really helped me a lot and I know that I wouldn't have been you know I would not be sober today if it wasn't for the house see I think one thing that we all have in common I think we'll all agree on is that as practicing addicts and alcoholics we were very selfish people we came first, whatever we wanted to do, rules didn't apply to us, we were going to do things our way. And I think most people here will, will agree, our way did not work. Uh, and no, it didn't work for me. Uh, but, you know, this way of recovery and, and sobriety is a better way. And living, living in an environment like with Oxford House, because we do have few, we do have simple rules, and we don't have very many rules because... Uh, one thing uh, addicts and alcoholics like to do is make rules and then break them. <laughs> house, in order for a house to work, in order for us to work together, I have to. It's like part of my responsibility for my well-being to get to know this guy because I'm going to be living with him and I'm going to depend on him to pay his share of the rent so that I don't have to get put out. You see, if we don't pay rent, we, don't, we get put out. But we, we depend on each other. For so more. we depend on each other. And the thing is, because it's run democratically, uh, everybody has an opinion and today I can accept somebody else's opinion even though I may not agree with it or even though I may not think that this person is wrong I mean or, or is right or whatever because it used to be that you know my opinion was was the only right opinion and if you didn't agree with me it, 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 has, it has believe it or not folks it's changed <laughs> <laughs>